Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 156 of my Trey Let's Play. Last episode, we were working on the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the Sea Shanty, the Sea Shack. We did quite a lot. It's really, <laughs> honestly, it's looking pretty badass. And I'll tell you what, let me put this here and then beat it with a damn hammer to smooth it out. And uh, nah, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I don't know, I was just coming up with things or trying some new ideas. Uh, let's see if we have a new quest. I can't remember. Do I have a quest? Oh, that's right. The Fish of Cthulhu thing I don't think I can do. Uh, now, I want the living loom. I looked into this. I, I touched up on it earlier. I was talking about how living furniture or living wood had their own furniture set. And all you do is use regular wood and you use a living loom to craft miscellaneous furniture. And one of the big things I thought... I think I think there was a bed. I don't remember if there was a toilet or anything like that. But there were some items that would just work really well as furniture in here. I mean, they're living they're living wood furniture. They're not palm wood, but they still look really great. So, oh, hey, there's my uh, there's my pet. Let me go home here. And before I forget, as always, let's bring some of those. Such a pain in the butt. I always forget. And let me put the bait up here. I'm just gonna delete that. Um, I'm trying to clear up my inventory a bit. Uh, there's extra heart lanterns. Don't I usually keep them? I think I usually keep them in a chest like this. All this white paint I don't currently need, so I'm probably gonna put it in here because it's kind of backgroundy. Uh, it's placeable. Uh, rockfish. I'm just gonna sell this. I've got no purpose or no need for it. Here, if you pick up my crystal ball, you bet. You bet. I'm gonna call you hemorrhoid because gearoid looks like hemorrhoids to me. All right, hemorrhoids. I am here to look at your balls. That that that's disgusting. I'm sorry. Let's sell the rockfish. I will take that money. That is good. Uh, palmwood candle. I, I'll keep them because I'm probably gonna end up using them. I don't know where I got a white torch. I don't think I should have a white torch. I feel like I probably broke some, broke one somewhere. Yep, I did. Okay. Glad I glad I noticed that. So it was like right here. Yeah. Okay. So I was, I was trying to compare it to this torch. Don't know when I did that, but I'm sure someone was yelling at me. Justifiably so. Uh, people want me to kill the truffle worm more. Uh, truffle worm. You don't kill the truffle worm. People want me to kill uh, Duke Fish Run more and some other bosses. I'll do that. Uh, let me harvest these because, again, what I'm really doing right now, this is kind of prep for 1.3. I'm getting a lot of the building out of the way, a lot of the cool things I've been meaning to do. Uh, gathering potion ingredients is absolutely a nice thing to do because God only knows what I'm going to have to try and kill whenever the update comes out, so having just all these different potions and things and, you know, buffs to, at my disposal will be really nice. And, of course, you know, I'm doing a lot of aesthetic things right now, but that's because I enjoy building in this game, so I enjoy making things look pretty. You may not think my house looks pretty, but to me it's pretty. <laughs> it's probably one of the better looking houses I've made in Terraria. I mean, I, I've made some, some pretty cool houses, but definitely feel more motivated when you got some people watching you and they kind of kind of want you to do something cool. So I guess there's motivation there. Uh, again, Silverthorn, doing what we can to amass some of this. I don't know if you can call it amassing. We're not getting that much. Uh, plants look good to me. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to sign off, or rather save and exit, I created a new world here. I called it Living Loom, just so I wouldn't forget what it was. I made it large, so hopefully I'd get as many possible living trees or living wood trees as possible. Obviously, I have not explored any of the map here. I usually just go off to the right first, so let's let's do that. And look at all these trees. Wow. I swear to God, I did not go on another character and look for a living tree. Wouldn't matter. <laughs> this doesn't have like the uh, the opening, so it's not going to have what we want in it. Uh, what I was saying is I should probably chop some of these giant ass trees down and get some acorns, uh, you know, so we can plant them in the other world. Get more palm wood. Let's just get that out of the way. What's the guy's name in this world? Steve. Steve, you're a bum. You get out of here. Uh, I'm being mean to Steve. I don't know why. 25. Eh, let's just smart her shirt. It's quicker. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> it's quicker. Get out of here, birds. Smart cursor is so good. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, let's uh, turn it off before I forget. Look, dirt. Pick this up. That's good. I just wanted to get those really big ass trees and get them, get them cut down. Let me cut through here. Now there shouldn't be anything down here. Yeah, if the tree doesn't have that, the, like the, 
the platforms and the, the already pre-made opening. You're not going to find anything down there. So let's just keep running over here. I have no idea if making a large world or not is going to impact, you know, whether or not I find what I'm trying to look for here. Uh, I don't know if ha having a small world would just increase the rate at which I found the trees, or maybe having a large wood would increase the chance of trees to spawn. So I made a large world this time. And something I'm already noticing, this is a lot of roll gen that's not in my world, because we made it as soon as 1.2 hit. Like these, these, like, uh, stalagmites and things, and like, whatever you want to call this crap that hangs from the walls. Our world's missing that. It, It's just different roll gen that, you know, was applied after 1.2. Obviously, when 1.2 came out, that's when my world was created. So we're, sadly, we're missing a little bit of this stuff. So it, it gives it more ambiance, if you will. Just look cooler. Not... I butthurt about it. It's cool. <laughs> oh man. It just looks neat. It definitely does. They did this for I think even in the beehives and stuff. I think the beehives have like different stuff hanging from the ceiling. It's pretty damn cool. Just something to note. Get out of here, slime. I'm not gonna break those altars back there. I, I've got no real need for it and Yeah, no real need to go down here. I'm looking for living trees right now. Getting distracted. That's a big ass mountain. Alright. Come on, a large world. Don't be too unkind. Oh, here's a desert. If I can find another pyramid, that'd be cool. I don't have the magic carpet. And, of course not. <laughs> that was a small desert. Come on, living tree. Nope, oh, another desert. Another pyramid, please. I can't remember if they said they made pyramids more common or something. I, I thought I read that somewhere. Pyramids were already very rare. And the loot in them, even when you found them, of course, there's a percent chance of getting some kind of item in there. Nine times out of ten, you didn't find what you wanted. So, I think they did say something about that. I don't remember. I read a lot of the patch notes, but I can never remember all of them. There's a lot they, they're always changing in the updates. Still no living tree. Another desert. A weird desert at that. Don't see any pyramids either. Huh. Not seeing any trees, which is saddening. Not these trees. The trees I'm after. That's the dungeon. No need to go in there. I do not want another dungeon guardian. Let's be 100. <laughs> I'll be 110 percent honest with you. I don't feel like doing that again. <laughs> Fuck you, duck. Kill it. Kill it. I don't think it hit it. No, it didn't. I can still hear it quacking. Okay, I think we're getting very close to the edge of the world over here. I don't think we're gonna find another tree. I'm gonna have to teleport home. That is some cool world gen. That's neat. The sad part is, after 1.2 came out, I know they mentioned they fixed World Gen or changed it so that the beach, like this, looks more like a beach and less than a. <laughs> less like a floating whatever the hell it is that we have in our world. Uh, I've been trying to improve that. I am going to take some of this stuff. Because, I mean, I think we already spammed enough of it at our little beach shack. But it doesn't hurt to take, take this. It's pretty cool looking. So let's just steal it. And then we'll teleport home, and we'll go over here to the left. It's some of the twin things here again, they don't stay summoned. Hopefully we find something. I don't want to have to keep making work. This is like, I don't know if anybody's been here that long, but back when I was looking for the sandstorm in a bottle, oh my god, I probably spent like three or four episodes making worlds look, <laughs> looking for uh, looking for the, the, the pyramid, just, just a pyramid, and then I'd find the pyramid and I wouldn't find what I needed, so... Hopefully this doesn't end up being a wild goose chase. Sorry, bunny. I had to. I should probably keep the mushrooms like I keep deleting. I mean, they are using potions. So I'll tell you what. Just run through the, the surface here and swing our pickaxe. Another desert. And hey, look, there's a pyramid. Sweet tits. Let's see what we have down here. No harm in taking a look. Okay. Ooh. They're usually a little bit deeper than that. Oh, sweet! I don't have a flying carpet yet. I'll take that. I bet since we found that, we're not going to find what we uh, really came here for now. And I got some copper coins. Let's break the vases. I don't think there's going to be anything down here, but let's just take a look. I don't, I don't explore pyramids too often. And hey, look. What do we got in here? Gills potion. I'm taking all the potions because I can just put them in my potion chest at home. Take more flares, you bet. Throw the coins in the ground. I'll pick them up. I don't really need that heart crystal. That's fine. That's just money. I have to sell it. Uh, nothing. So, I'll take a flying carpet. Uh, the flying carpet I 
don't know if you needed to make the hoverboard. I don't remember. But it's really cool. It lets you float. And when it, when it says float, you don't fly. You stay the same height. So it kind of lo locks your height position and lets you go side to side. So it's really cool for boss fights. And I got a mining potion. I don't remember when I got that. Let's get rid of that shuriken. Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else I can trash there. Let's see. Any, any more pyramids? That'd be pretty cool. How about some living trees, though? Only, name a world living loom, and you get one tree. Scumbag Terraria. No pyramids? That's a big-ass desert. This is a big-ass desert. Textures usually are not that big. Cool. Looks like the mushrooms. Another corrupt biome. With the cool spikes that my world doesn't have. Sad face. And this is all corrupt sand. Whatever. You're dead. Come on. Be, be, be one more living tree. Now this will be the jungle, of course. Since the dungeon's always on the opposite side. Large world. Might have not been the best decision. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if they try to jam-pack the same amount of content into a small world as a hard world. They just expand it. So, I mean, you only get one dungeon, you only get one jungle. So in a small world, you only get one jungle and one, you know, dungeon too. If you're guaranteed X amount of trees in a, a world, does that apply? I don't know, I don't know, like, I, I don't know the exact world gen. That'd be really nice to know. It'd be some good information. I'm not sure if I'm making sense there, but maybe somebody will understand what I'm getting at. Uh, rotten chunks, I might as well hold on to them. Up, oh, we're at the... <laughs> Corrupt palm wood, really? Oh, it just turns to ebon wood. That's funny. And yeah, this this desert or this uh, this beach or ocean biome is really messed up too. What do we have in here? I will take those. And don't really need them. I'll take the potions. I like potions. Let's use our awesome wings to get out of there right away. And then I, wow, I only have one healing potion. Nice. I'm going to save and quit here, or save and exit. Uh, pick me. I'm going to hit delete here, and living loom. Yep. Not our let's play. Let's say, let's do a medium one. And we'll say, living loom, please. Living loom, please. We did this before with something else. I can't remember. We said, we said what we need, please. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let the world generate, and we'll go from there. Uh, living loom, I, I, I just want it for the aesthetics. And then, after my my beach house, huh, I'm trying to think what what the next build project is, because I think I want to make, I think there's another thing I wanted to make, I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Or some, something I had, some idea. I will have to figure it out later, but there we go, already generated. Living loom, please. Uh, I'll go to the right again, I usually do. Let's see, any potions? None that I need. Look, another chest. None that I need. <laughs> Story of my life. Look at all these big ass trees that we don't have in my world. Every time I place an acorn, I get a small tree like that. I want, I want these big trees. Big trees are best trees. Oh, there's desert. If I can find another pyramid, that'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> desert plus snow biome. Derp. This world's got crimson in it, which is nice. Still need to get the, uh... Vampire knives. That'll be a task. Especially since I think they nerfed the farm that I used to make, the meteorite head farm. I don't think that works anymore. Pretty sure you have to do something different now. Which really sucks, because it made it so much easier you could AFK it. It's all corrupted. Lots of corruption in this world. Holy crap. Damn. Still going. This is a medium world, too. We're not finding any trees. What is with this luck? Get out of here, wherever you were. Yeah, I saw that heart down there. I don't need it. Uh, dungeons on this side. Let's see here. Sometimes there's a living tree between the dungeon and the ocean. At least there was in my, my large world, my, my main Let's Play world. Uh, it's not looking too hot. 
Uh, we're gonna hit the ocean here shortly, I'm sure. A chest, let's see what we have. I will take these potions. These potions are nice to have. Potions that I haven't been making, so <laughs> I'll take them. Yep, ocean. Uh, I want to get the palm wood while I'm here. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't go world to world to world to get palm wood, but while I'm here, whatever. It'd be nice if I could find the angler in there as well. Pick up a quest and just do it, and it'll contribute to my overall total there. It'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Is he down here? I don't know if you have to be in hard mode or not. I think you might. No, no, you don't have to be in hard mode. No, I'm pretty sure you don't. I am pretty darn, pretty damn sure you do not need to be in hard mode. Well, where I got that idea, but okay. Let's delete that. Uh, my inventory is getting so full. Combine those potions. Living tree, please. Come on, living tree. The other world we found one right away, but of course it wasn't one that had a had an opening in it, if you will. Come on, living tree. All this for some aesthetics. I hate you, game. Just, just be nice. And even then, even if we do find it, I'm pretty sure the living bloom itself is really rare. So th this is going to be a pain in the ass. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, there's a jungle. Wow, that was quick. Jungle already. Hmm. Let's just teleport. Holy mountains, Batman. Just teleport as much as we can without dying. I need to hit something with my magic and put some heals on. Too bad I don't really do much damage to these things before they die. <laughs> okay, a desert. Let's see here. Any pyramids? New. No. Living tree. Is, now is your chance. Because from here it's the ocean. Uh, now we're not going to find one. What the hell? Nope. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Poor slime. I didn't even get to see it. The thing got killed off screen. Desert. Not gonna be a pyramid, I really doubt. Nope. What about down here? Let's check. Nay. Hmm. Might make a small world next. I've never had much luck with medium worlds. It's like I don't. I don't know. Medium worlds have never been too kind to me. Usually, small or larger are what I want for world size. Let's see what we have here. Don't need any of that. I'll take the mining potion. Obviously, we're just gonna throw the beach ball. Come, come hither, beach ball. Can I shoot it? I forget. No. Grab the water. Eh. Eh, you're going into space. Oh, that's right. I can't. Nope. Okay. Let's teleport home so we don't drown. Uh, let's do one more world before I I give up for this episode. So single player, me. Delete. Let's play. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Living Bloom. <laughs> you know how bad that would suck? I have a backup of World 150, Episode 150. I'd still lose a lot of progress. So let's delete Living Loom there. And small. For, for the love of God and all that. Damn it, I was going to say all that is holy. No, it's not going to work. Living Loom. Por favor. Ah, Porfovo. Alright, we're going with Porfovo. Loving World Porfovo. Let's see. <laughs> Living Loom Porfovo. Let's see let's see what happens. <laughs> Damn it. Oh man. 1.3 guys. Needs to get here. I've been waiting for so long. Like they, they teased it way too early, I think. Living World Porfovo. I think they teased it way too early and they got my hopes up. I thought it was coming out a lot earlier than it did there than it really will be. So it's been like agonizing. I've just been waiting for it. It's a desert already. No surprise. Small world is small. I don't see a pyramid here. That's a big ass desert for a small world. That's a dead end line. Wow, this is really big. Jungle already. It's not looking too hot. Oh god. We're not gonna find one, guys. <laughs> and corrupted. It's just a mishmash of biomes. Holy crap. More jungle. What is going on here? Where's the living trees? Don't hit me. I hit you. Stop hitting me! Let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, I'll take a shine potion. And might as well take a recall potion. <laughs> if nothing else, 
Putting all these potions to my chests make them look very colorful. <laughs> it's nice to have them. I mean, it's better to have a crap ton of potions that you're never going to use than have none. So nothing on this side. Let's see what we have here. That's a shark. That's a dead shark. Another shine potion. You bet. Another chest. Sweet. Nice. Lots of recall potions. And nothing over here. Magic mirror. And we work our way over. Also, we check this chest. Nay. Okay. Let's see here. Snow biome. Not gonna have a living tree in it. It has to be in a regular biome, I do believe. So we're just getting very unlucky. The problem is, we're not in our main world, so the time's not progressing. So the angler is not refreshing his quest. So when we go back, we're still gonna have that crappy quest I can't do. Corruption already. I'm not feeling too hot about this world. I don't think we're gonna get it. I should just make a crap ton of worlds uh, off screen, and then an episode dedicated to world hopping. <laughs> See what we can find. Let me fall down there, please. Thank you. Uh, I will take you. Just throw you on the ground. Teleport here, kill you. Free heals. Go kill something, Razorblade Typhoon. Oh! Oh, you motherfucker! Look how big this tree is, too! This is like the perfect chance. There's not gonna be anything down here. I guarantee it. Yep, we're already out of the living wood. Oh my god, I hate you, game. This is this is one of the bigger trees here, like the thicker trees I've seen. That that's really tall, honestly. Damn it! I hate you, game. I hate you. You know that? Oh, that's a kick in the nuts. Let's see here. Another tree, please. That'd be that'd be fucking fantastic. I may forgive you, game. No, you give me a pink jungle. Thanks. Or pink jungle. There you go again. Pink dungeon. I don't need a pink dungeon. And we are here at the ocean. Oops. Let's get our palm wood. Come hither, palm wood. I don't think I really need it anymore. I think we're pretty much done aesthetically, but I'll take it. Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. There's three chests here, it looks like. Oh, four. Holy crap. That's a lot of chests, honestly. Uh, one more before we start drowning. Alright, we're good. Um, Save quit here. Quit shooting at things. Uh, me, let's delete. Poor Favo. Poor Favo has not been kind. It has not been kind, guys. <laughs> let's go back to our, our main world there. Poor Favo, please. Let's go ahead and quick stack all these potions away, clean up my inventory. That's uh, getting out of hand. Uh, can't teleport down there. So, quick stack. So all looks like all the potions went. So we did have like a placeholder for every one of them, which is nice. Uh, we'll quick stack our ingredients. I don't need those. Uh, let's see here. This is an accessory, so I think I've been putting my accessories. Yeah, so I don't have one of these quite yet. I'm, I don't remember what all I can do with that, so we'll take a look at that later. Seashells. Do I have room for these things over here? Did I did I store them anywhere? Okay, I don't think I did. No. Tell you what, a chest for palm wood. I think all chests require iron in some regard. So let me get a handful of them. I think you have to beat the sawmill and have the respective wood type on you. Is that how it works, or is it a crafting bench or an anvil, maybe? Goblin Tinkerer. Let's be at both. Anvil is not offering it. That is not offering it. Where do you make chests? I could have swore. I have a bunch of palm wood. Oh, that's right, they have like these weird racks I forgot about. Sword rack, uh, weapon rack, helmet rack, bar, banquet table. Let's show the guide here. No, nope, guide, open the door. Let's show him palm wood. And what, is there a chest in here? No, there isn't. Okay. Iron bar should at least show me it here. I mean, right here, palm wood chest. 
workbench. I was definitely... Oh, wow. No, I wasn't at a workbench. <laughs> I'm, hold on, let me show him again. How many did he say we needed? Let me just make sure I even have enough before I feel like an idiot. Palm wood. Yeah, it's two. Okay. What other chests are there, though? I know there's quite a few. I have shade wood. The shade wood ones look pretty cool. Slime chests are pretty goofy. Could you imagine storing your stuff in a slime chest? Wow. Glass chests look fancy. Glass chests look awesome. Frozen clock looks pretty badass. There's so much furniture now. I love it. That's just creepy. Damn, dude. Some of these chests are pretty cool looking. What is that? I have, oh, a heavy workbench. I have no idea what that's even for yet. I really need to look that one up. Okay, so we should have the ingredients we need. Let's go to our workbench here. Not sure why I didn't notice it, but this is a workbench. Sure enough, there it is. Derp. So, palm wood chest. Let's teleport over here. This can be another item that we just kind of put in here to, to have. I think right here would be good. Okay. So I'll put these in here. I'll even put a bunch of acorns in here because we keep using them for palm wood trees. Uh, palm wood, don't want to keep this on me if I'm not really using it. Leaf wand, I'll keep that here because the only time I'm ever going to use it, I think, is being here. Uh, palm wood candle, if I ever feel a desire, I need more light. Which I don't think I do up top. No, I think we're good there. Uh, heck, even, even this stuff, I mean, this is just stuff I'd use if I wanted to expand building here. Put that up there. I think that's fair enough. Let's talk to the little guy here. I'm pretty damn sure there's nothing I can do yet. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be the... Even though, even though it says the Fish of Cthulhu. You know, I've never... I'm conflicted. I have to try this. I don't think this is one I need to be in lava for. Uh, map. Yeah, the... The normal areas over here. I always forget. But let's see if we can get the Fish of Cthulhu. Well, I mean, I think... I mean, the way it looks, it looks like I need to go in the underworld, but I... Cthulhu, you don't need to be in the underworld, so let's give it a go here. If I, if I get it now, I'll feel stupid. But either way, a lot, there's a couple of the fish that I just can't do, or get. Ooh, I got the frog leg! Sweet! I'm pretty damn sure you need to do need that for an accessory. And there's the fish of Cthulhu. I'm an idiot. Equipable increases jump speed and allows auto-jump. Increases... I think I can combine this with an accessory. I want to try something here. What What is auto-jump? Okay. Oh my god, that really increased my my flying. Holy crap. I mean, I don't even have the, the balloons on me anymore. Wow, how high did I go? Holy shit! I want to see what auto-jump is. I'm just going to hold space. Yep. Okay. So that would make if I didn't have wings... Let's do it this way. So I'm, I'm holding... Yeah, you just hold it and you automatically jump, obviously. But we'll put our wings on. And I'm going to keep my Celestial Stone. That is a great movement item. Nice to have. I'm going to show the guide the frog leg before I forget here. I'm pretty sure this has other uses. Really? Guess not. That's that's a great find. That's something I, I wanted to look at. Like, if I could get that item really early in a Let's Play or all, like a playthrough... That would have been fantastic. Let's just delete these. Uh, more potions I don't need on me. Gotta turn in this quest. Why is the goblin tinker over here? Journeyman bait, fish, bunny fish trophy. I already have the bunny fish trophy. Let's get the goblin tinker. Oops, to move back. You should not be over there. Goblin tinker, quit being stupid. Uh, move down here. Uh, you get here. Whoa! I think I, oh, that's right. There's. I think they're still respawning from whenever we, whenever we killed them all. Oh, hey, look. Let's get the moon glow while it's here. Well, hey there, baby Skeletron head. Guy just comes flying off the side of the screen. It's just creepy. <laughs> Let's see here. I need to look at the list of potions that I can go ahead and start making, and just start stacking the ones that I want. Uh, like I like I've been saying, this is all preparation for whenever 1.3 hits. Let me check my stash. 
let's see here. This should be the potion chest. So, uh, let's, uh, let's put these on me. I don't have any healing potions. So, thorns are, are pretty damn good for, for boss fights. Uh, obviously, the iron skin potion is really great. Regen potion is just an added niceness. Hmm. Mana regen potion is good. Gravitation potion. Not something I've particularly needed much. Builder potion is pre pretty useless. Uh, fishing potion is nice, obviously, for fishing. There's quite a few that are. I don't think I'm even. Ha I don't even have here. Magic power potion is great, considering that I'm playing a magic character. And obviously, good old crystal ball helps. Heart reach potion is nice. Uh, pick up hearts. And there's one. Uh, there's the one. I can't remember. The one I need to. Uh, Increases your maximum life. That one's really good. And then oh, I need to go over to the I need to go over to the beehives and bring some lava with me, and maybe even some water and get some honey, uh, crisp honey. And uh, there's another one I can't remember, but I should probably start amassing them. But for now, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Episode 156. I'm sorry we did not find the living loom. That's kind of what I've been working for here, or that's absolutely what I've been working for in this episode. Living Loom will give me access to all the living wood furniture. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can make there, but looks like that's going to have to wait till maybe next episode or whenever I can find one, I'll, I'll get it and we'll go ahead and we'll start messing around with it. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.